Hi, in today's video, we will be miking the guitar with 7 different microphones to see how they compare. For a fair comparison, the musician will play the same part in all the recordings and will try to keep the performance as uniform as possible. For this video, we will be using large diaphragm condenser microphones that include the Neumann U87, the Neumann TLM102, the Warm Audio WA47 and the AKG C414. We will also be using small diaphragm condenser microphones that include the Neumann KM184 and the Sennheiser E614. Additionally, we will also use a dynamic microphone, the Shure SM58. All of these mics will be going straight into the SSL6 Super Analog mic preamp. I have chosen this preamp because in my experience it has a very clean and transparent sound and adds no additional color. There is also no processing applied on any of these recordings and they have all been gain matched on the way in. All the mics will be positioned at about 4 inches from the 12th fret of the guitar. This is the Neumann U87. Uh, this is the AI version of the mic. Uh, this is one of the classics found all over the world in studios. It's a wonderful vocal microphone but uh, surprisingly also very nice on instruments. This is the Neumann TLM102. This is a very compact large diaphragm condenser mic. It is designed to handle high sound pressure level, which means you can put it on guitar cabinets, you can put it on percussion instruments, drums. Now let's see how it sounds. This is the Warm Audio WA-47. It is a clone of the classic U-47. Again, a very versatile microphone. Uh, can be used on a variety of instruments and vocals. I've grown really fond of its smooth tube characteristic. Now let's see how it sounds. This is the AKG C414. This is the XL2 version of the mic. The 414 is a very versatile microphone and it is the number one choice for a lot of engineers around the world to record any kind of instrument. Uh, you're hearing my voice through a 414 right now and uh, let's see it in action. Coming to small diaphragm condenser microphones, this is the Neumann KM184. It is very good at capturing transient information because of its slight bump at around 9K. Uh, it would be the ideal choice to record any kind of string instrument or percussive instrument or even drum overheads. Now let's see how it sounds on the guitar. This is the Sennheiser E614. It is very good at handling very high sound pressure level and has a very balanced frequency response, especially is rich in the low mids. It is very good for recording any loud drum like the snare drum, overheads, and even an acoustic guitar. In 
addition, we also used the Shure SM58 to see how it plays out against these expensive condenser microphones. The 58, as we all know, is a life savior in a lot of situations, and it's just a overall great microphone when paired with a very good preamp. Now that we have heard the recordings, I'd like to share some of my views and talk a little bit about the microphones. Let's look at the large diaphragm microphones first. The 414 has a lot more top end compared to the 87 at around 10k. You can hear the sound of the pick cuts through much better in the 414 compared to the 87. The 414 also has a lot more low end at around 100, 150 hertz. The 87 has a lot more mids at around 1k, 2k that makes it sound rich and more forward. In my opinion, anything recorded with an 87 usually sounds mix ready where you can get away with little or no processing at all. The WA-47 sounds quite interesting to me because to me it seems like it is a combination of both the 414 and the 87. It definitely has a lot more top end than the 87 but is also quite rich in the mids and has a very nice smooth rounded off bottom end. The 47 has a very balanced overall sonic character which is classic to most tube mics. The TLM-102 has a similar top end as the 414 but is more present at around the 1k, 2k range whereas the 414 does very obviously sound scooped at that same range. Now let's look at the small diaphragm condenser microphones. The KM-184 has a much crisper top end and a brighter sound. You can definitely hear the pick cut through much better in the 184 than in the 614. But the 614 has a much rounder, smoother tonal characteristic. It sounds even throughout the frequency range. It also has a lot more body at around 100, 150 hertz. The Shure SM58 sounds like a classic dynamic microphone with not too much top end and less transient definition compared to the condenser microphones. It could be used for recording certain types of vocals because of its mid-range, but something like the guitar has a lot of upper harmonics that the mic is not designed to capture. Thank you so much for checking this video out. I hope you found it informative. We are working on more content like this. So if you'd like to see something specific related to audio or music production, please to drop a comment below or reach out to us on social media. The links are in the description. Thank you.